in the brain, in the uh, cranium, there is the cerebrum. And in the cerebrum, and in particular the claustrum, the claustrum is sitting right there in the middle of the head, virtually. From the claustrum there is a secretion, brain fluid. Uh, and this fluid is an oil. And in ancient times, this fluid was called, in Greek, it's called Christos. It's called the Christ. It's this beautiful fluid which uh, comes from the uh, cerebrum and pours down the spinal cord. It goes down the spinal cord and it reaches the sacral plexus right next door to the sacrum, which are the five second bottom most fused vertebrae bones at the bottom of the spinal column. The bottom most portion of the spinal column is called the coccyx. Then just above that is the sacrum, five fused bones. So the sacral plexus is connected to the sacrum. And the fluid which comes from the cerebrum pours down the spinal cord and comes to this, the bottommost part of the spinal cord. Now, the claustrum is otherwise known as the holy claustrum, simply because of this beautiful oil, this Christos, that is produced and secreted. You see, the word secret comes from secretion, because this secretion is a secret. And the sacrum is the sacred part of the secret. As the secretion pours down the spinal cord and reaches the sacrum, this is the, um, the marvelous way in which our body has been designed. And the spinal cord is basically just an extension of the brain. It also does thinking. And you see, the holy claustrum is other, otherwise known as the Santa Claus drum. You see, because this fluid that goes down to the sacred plexus is a sacred fluid. Uh, and this is where the story of Santa Claus bringing ch presents down the chimney comes from. It's a story of physiology. And the Bible is a beautiful manual of physiological regeneration. What happens with this fluid is that every month when the moon is in the sign where your son was when you were born, every month there is a germ or a seed planted in the solar plexus, which is just above the uh, sacred sacral plexus. And that germ is the oil the Christ which is born in Bethlehem because the solar plexus is otherwise known as Bethlehem where the seed where the Christ is born and that seed that oil needs to return whence it came in the midbrain you see as the oil ascends the spinal cord the vibration of the oil of the Christ increases. And you see, first of all, the oil is differentiated in the pineal gland and the pituitary gland before it is sent down the spinal cord. And the pineal gland is the electric portion and the pituitary gland is the magnetic portion. So the oil is differentiated and it is brought down the spinal cord via the pingala and the ida nerves. These are what is otherwise known as the kundalini and the kundabatha. Psychologists have discovered that procrastination... So it arrives at the sacral plexus and awaits for the germinating of the seed once a month, 12 times a year. And if we are able to transmute that seed and cause it to rise. As it rises in the spinal cord, it eventually reach, reaches the medulla oblongata, 
and the pons and the midbrain and it crosses the va vagus nerve otherwise known as the pneumogastric nerve it's a nerve which descends from the brain area from the pineal and pituitary gland glands respectively and it feeds the lungs and the stomach it's a network of nerves and this network of nerves is called the tree of life and you see the ancients knew that this seed that is born in Bethlehem once a month is the Christ and that if one were to abstain from sex during that period that oil and seed would be saved and it would rise and it would burst through the heart chakra through the throat chakra and eventually the oil would arrive with its higher vibration because you see at the bottom the oil has a very low vibratory rate whereas with proper practices meditation breathing good eating and good peaceful behavior one is able to raise that Christ that oil so that it crosses the vagus nerve at the top of this the uh, spinal column the 33 vertebrae of the spinal column you see because the Christ is crucified at 33 years of age when the oil arrives at the very very top there awaiting is the optic thalamus an egg-shaped organ in the middle of the head when it crosses this pneumogastric nerve this is called the crucifixion the oil is not killed and destroyed but it is magnified one thousand fold and the oil then touches the optic thalamus and for two and a half days remains in a condition that is considered to be dead and then reaches the pineal gland after two and a half days and illuminates the optic thalamus and the pineal gland the optic thalamus was known as the light of the world by the Egyptians and the Greeks because they knew their their uh, physiology and anatomy and they knew that this precious oil which descended from the claustrum from the cerebrum and was differentiated in the pineal and pituitary glands and descended the spinal cord they knew that it would ascend eventually and that the enlightened portion of mankind were able to cause this Christ oil to ascend so that it would um, ascend to the optic thalamus and uh, cause it to be lightened what in turn happens is that millions of brain cells that were dormant are now awakened <laughs> 